my goodness, McLaren? I think I'm gonna stop right here. Hey, how you doing, sir? Um, I I believe I'm I'm here on um. I, I never received the picture, so I don't know exactly where to go. Yeah. Okay. guys we are back well what did i show okay so we went to go get loaded let me let me show y'all what we got a whole bunch of lumber okay but 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 here in the state of florida we cannot have the tandems open so we have to have them closed so it was a pain in the butt I already knew it was gonna be a pain in the butt. But it was a pain in the butt to get it actually, um, what would you say, centered or or like, I don't know. I, I'm used to having the axles open, so I know where to put it when the axles are open so the weight could be good. But anyways, we had went to go get loaded. We got loaded. I did it how I thought it was gonna be good. Came over here to this loves, um, weighed myself, and this was a ticket right here so as y'all can see we were over 160 pounds on our gross weight which i have pretty much a full tank so i could have burned that 160 but we can't open our tandems and my trainer tandems were weighing in at 37 if i was able to open them we would have been just fine so that's why we had to go back and uh get it reworked they actually took one of the bundles off and um they moved it up about i want to say maybe like a foot and a half or two we just got back and this is our second scale ticket oh man so y'all can see the gross weight is now good. Trailer tandems are now good. But now the drives. <laughs> we are over 160 pounds. Yes, it says 660. We're only allowed. Technically, everybody else that doesn't have an APU is only allowed 34,000 on the drives. But since we have an APU, we have an extra 500 pounds that we're allowed on the drives. So, as you can see, we should be able to have 35, 34.5, but we're 160 over. But we have pretty much a fuel tank. So, we can burn that, I think. I hope. <laughs> because if we can't, then, uh, yeah, we are... Um, in a pickle so um yeah thank god the first way station that is closer to me is closed right now the next one is all the way to jacksonville which i think we should be able to burn quite a bit of fuel i think i hope by tomorrow um i'm probably gonna leave the truck running a little bit tonight so we can burn some fuel and um from here on out i'm not gonna fuel up if i need to i'm probably just gonna put a little bit and leave it less if not even yeah less than half a tank so we make it over there thank god it's only 600 miles from here so we should be there tomorrow i'm gonna take off later in the day so maybe the way stations are closed or early early in the morning but we'll see what happens but that's what's going on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I still need to tarp this load. Thank God I didn't tarp it when uh, I came and weighed myself for the first time. Because if not, 
I would have had to untarp the whole thing and then have to tarp it again right now. But since I haven't tarped it, we're gonna go tarp it before we take a shower. Cause uh we need to take a shower. It's look at my hands. They are they're dirty. I'm dirty. So yeah, let's go uh tarp this thing. Well, it is finally Monday. This is where we spend the night. Don't mind that trash. This is already there. Somebody went tubing or something. Uh, people can't pick up after themselves. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the load. That's the tarp. I know I didn't show it. I forgot to show it over there when we were in Florida when I finished it, but pretty simple. I mean, it's just lumber, so. It's gonna be uh, pretty easy to tarp it. Um, but yeah, we spent the night right here, right across the street from where, from where we are delivering right now. It's uh, somewhere right there where that truck is at. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make our way over there. Go ahead and untarp this thing and uh, get, the, get it delivered. We don't have another load yet, but we will figure out what the heck we're gonna get but there's a the load and that tarp job is looking just fine all right guys well let's go deliver this thing all right guys well i didn't record when uh we were getting unloaded but we left that place we came up about 290 miles i think it was 260 to this place right here where we're gonna get loaded, pick up some, uh, I think it's like cable reels or something like that. So I already checked in. I just gotta wait for my turn now and uh, move up right there to that stop sign and just wait for my turn. And they had told me it was gonna be um, a preloaded trailer, but they said they couldn't load it up. So I'm gonna have to get live loaded. Oh well. All right, guys, well, we are here at a rest area. We are about three hours away from our delivery for tomorrow. We are taking our 30 minute break. We're gonna go ahead and check these uh, these chains, see how they're doing. And if we need to tighten them, we'll go ahead and tighten them. Let's go. I haven't had any problems with them, so it should be oh pretty good the only reason i'm up here is because i could barely reach if i'm down there and it's like at an angle so it's gonna be even worse yep short king problems man oh yeah i think we're doing pretty damn good Oh yeah. Yep. Last one. Oh. Yeah. Pink the boots. Oh yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Well, there it is. It's pretty good. They're all tight. I don't know if I showed it or not, but I mean, there it is. This is what we picked up yesterday. 
a whole bunch of cable reels. I think it's uh, 20 in total. Uh, pretty light. Well, I mean, in total, is it's kind of heavy, but each one is pretty light. They're each uh, 2,000 pounds. There's two, as y'all can see, one, two per uh, per set. So it's about 4,000 pounds per per chain or whatever. So it covers pretty good of the weight. The reason I have two in the front is just I don't know, makes me feel makes me feel better in the front. And in the back, I have two, one pulling forward and one pulling back, and then the rest just one. Um, but yeah, that'll do the work. That'll do it. Well, like I said, guys, we're about three hours away. I'm not sure where we're gonna stay yet. I have a couple of spots in mind, but I don't know if we're gonna find any spots available when we get there. But hopefully, we do. I'll worry about it later. Because we're going to stop driving uh, around 9.30 or 10. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, let's go ahead and heat up some food and uh, get on out of here. Alright guys, well, here we are. We are in a little... In a little... Uh, rest area type thing truck parking um, that is it for tonight we're gonna I'm gonna call it a day here I'm just gonna go over the truck a little bit make sure everything's doing good chains are all hooked up right and tight lights are working and uh, everything's intact that works damn that's bright um damn I didn't even notice that look at that this chain is all twisted. What the hell? All right, guys. Well, anyways, we are about, um, I want to say like an hour away from uh, the delivery. We can make it. But the only thing is that there's no parking around that area where we're delivering tomorrow. And um, I don't want to park on the side of the road because, uh, yeah, no. Um, so we ended up staying here about an hour. We're about to go into uh, Kansas City, but I didn't want to go all the way over there because I'm not going to find anything. And um, I'm just going to be looking around wasting time. So I went ahead and parked right here. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not that bad. It's nothing but truck parking. There's no restrooms or anything, so uh, when I have to, um, uh, I don't know, figure it out. But um, yeah, here we are. We're gonna deliver this thing tomorrow, like I said earlier, and uh, go pick up another load. But I don't know if that's gonna be for a different video. Might just show y'all what we're taking and uh, leave the trip and the delivery for the next video. But anyways, guys, truck is good. Look at this oversized. Let me buy. Let me buy. Sheesh. Alright, guys. Well, there it is. I might need that tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go in there, play some Xbox, get some food. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Alright, guys. Well, it is the next day. We are delivering. We just got here. We checked in. Uh, they just told us where to go. So that's where we're going to park. I'm just going to scoot over a little bit just in case these trucks need to get out. They have some room to get out. Well, it turns out 
this is not the place. We have to go somewhere else. Oh my gosh. They gave us a new address. They said it was about 10 minutes away. But I'm about to double check. See if it is. If it's not 10 minutes away, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna need to call my manager and uh, let him know. Oh man, that's trucking, all right? That's trucking. Well guys, we deliver this thing. Actually, it was a lot better to, to deliver over here than over there. Over there, it seemed like it was gonna be a little bit for me to get unloaded. And uh, here, as soon as I got into the gate, there's only two workers here. They're already waiting for me right there uh, with the forklifts. They just took my paperwork, told me what to park, and they were just waiting right there, right next to the trailer as I was taking all the chains off and everything. Um, so yeah, it, was, it was quick, probably like 20 minutes, if that, 30 minutes. But anyways, guys, we are out of here. I'm gonna start making my way to the next load. I haven't received it yet, but uh, I can already see it here. I'm gonna make my way over there and um, hopefully they don't change their minds when I'm closer to over there and they take it away. Uh, but yeah, we're about an hour and 24 minutes away. So let's go, let's go pick this thing up. guys well i didn't really show you guys what we picked up but we are stopping here for the night at a rest area i had to park here towards the entrance again because uh it looks like it's cool i don't want to go more up there and then every everything's going to be taken and uh i'm going to be out of luck so here we are i can still drive at night but the uh border of Missouri and Illinois is down that way a few miles um, down that way is st. Louis but <laughs> even though this thing is not even oversized like let me see look at that it's like barely anything these things are like nine feet wide trailers eight six um, even though we're not that much oversized I still can't drive after sunset in uh, Illinois unless I have a escort or something like that it says on the permit um, here in Missouri I can I could drive at night as long as I have my flashers on and all that stuff um, but not over there and uh, so we can't can't really keep on driving so we're gonna call it a night here and uh, most likely make it pretty dang close to our um, delivery in Georgia tomorrow. We should be starting to drive pretty early, around six in the morning. So I think I should be making it pretty close and then deliver this thing the following day on Friday. But there it is, man. The first time hauling these big ass tires, not too crazy. I was having a little trouble with the straps earlier because they weren't tight, getting like tight. They kept getting loose, uh, but it looks like they are good now. Haven't had to uh, hide in them anymore. They're pretty dang solid. Um, but yeah, there is the load. <laughs> pretty dang easy. Honestly, I forgot to weigh myself now that I'm thinking about it, but I think I should be should be good. There was another two other drivers there. One with a flatbed got loaded the same way, so I'm pretty sure that should be all right. But there it is, man. There it is. Let's get a shot over here for the thumbnail. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, there it is. Thumbnail. But anyways, guys, I am gonna call it a day. Call it a video. I want to get some more videos up for you guys. I know I've been slacking a little bit. So I'm going to try and upload at least every other day or every three days if possible. But I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. 
But anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all enjoyed, please leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yes, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.